like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So you already know what time it is. I am back letting you know about the latest makeup launches you can expect to see in stores online. All that good stuff and if I would buy it or not. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was pulling the products that we're gonna talk about in today's video and I already feel like I'm not impressed. So watch this end up being more of like an anti-haul. But if you wanna know what those things are, then let's go. So the first thing I see here is from MAC Cosmetics. It's the Disney Cruella collection. Okay. Um, a Covetable collection of punk rock reds and hot metallic hues inspired by the most iconic looks of Disney's Cruella. Um, see, Mac is always gonna get the packaging, right? They're always going to get the packaging. It's once you open that inside, that's like, what? What is going on? Um, it kind, it's kind of saying Cruella though. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing with collabs. They have to say what it is that you're actually collabor uh, collabing with, and they also have to be practical, <laughs> you know? And I'm looking at it, at, like for me at least. Um, yeah, it makes sense. It's kind of saying Cruella, but like, what am I gonna do with it? Like, especially the eyeshadow palette. What am I gonna do with that? So no, no, I would not get this, but packaging, a1 mac usually never messes up there next up this is from lunar beauty life's huh new lunar beauty life's a, no how does that make sense oh okay so lunar beauty's life's a drag palette is getting a literal facelift with their new life's a drag facelift palette so i was like this looks exactly like the first palette that he came out with um because it is it's just he has added more shades to it so it got a facelift um, it was nice. I did try this palette when he first launched his company. Nice palette, nice shades. Would I rebuy it just for the extra shades that are added into it? No, I would not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe by. This is from ColourPop. Y'all know it wouldn't be this type of video if there wasn't at least one <laughs> ColourPop launch. I don't even know if there are any more uh, that I have to talk about later. But they have a new Your Golden Mega Palette. Um, so it's just an eyeshadow palette, but one that comes with more shades than they typically put. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This palette, she look kinda cute. I'm not gonna lie, she look, she look kinda cute. I see browns in there that could actually be transitions and I could use to like deepen up my transition, my lid stuff like that. I like the jewel tones that they've got going on in here. Would I buy it though? Well, this says uh, that they were having a 30% off uh, site-wide sale when um, Hot Fire posted this. See, now if I can get it on sale, something like that, then yeah, I can see myself adding it to the cart. Am I gonna intentionally go buy this? No, for now. Well, no, for now. If you see it pop up, you already know, mind your business. Okay, uh, Morphe X Ariel Collection, developed by Makeup by Ariel, are now online at Ulta Beauty. So if you guys did not hear, Morphe is collaborating with the makeup artist Makeup by Ariel to put out a brush line. I thought it would be more than just brushes, but that's kind of cool. Morphe has hit or miss brushes. You really gotta shop by like the collection. Um, Cause I used one of their concealer, uh, one of their Elite collection concealer brushes fire right but i've tried other brushes from them and absolutely not um makeup by ariel is a working professional celebrity makeup artist um he is kylie's main makeup artist i know he does like the other kardashians but you know kim has mario stuff like that pretty sure like kylie's his main go-to and then he does you know like that crowd stuff like that um so it's cool when you see like a makeup artist coming out with their own eyeshadows brushes stuff like that so so if he's attaching his name to it, I would think would be nice. Am I gonna test it out for myself to find out? No, but you know, they look pretty, they look nice. I'll see what other people say about it. Okay, new from Glow Recipe, introducing their Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial, the first ever treatment made with hyaluronic clay, launching on 529 at Sephora. They have my interest. Have I tried anything? I don't think I've tried anything from Glow Recipe. They have my interest. I like, I like me. Is it a face mask? This facial in a jar helps to refine pores and dual exfoliate while surging skin with hydration. I, I like skincare. It's, it sounds like it's up my alley. So would I buy this? I probably will end up buying it. So let me go ahead and say yes, I would buy this because I probably will. 
Um, it's caught my interest. I don't know much about glow recipe though, so that's why I'm kind of like, eh. Uh, but I feel like I see other people talking about them, so let's say yes, I would buy this one. Uh, what is this? Melt Cosmetics new nudes, nudes, nudes collection is now online at Sephora. So basically they just came out with a nudes lipstick collection. I have the liquid lipsticks. I was just talking about them in a video not too long ago. Um, but they came out with like bullet lipsticks. Am I gonna go rush to buy this? No. Do I see some shades that would be nice like filler shades uh, when I use a lip liner? I do. So could I see myself throwing one of these lipsticks in the cart during the next Sephora sale? Yes, I do. I'm gonna rush. No, because I honestly don't use uh, much of the liquid lipsticks except for the one that I told you you can use as a lip liner, like the lighter shades. I don't really use them. So it's like, why rush to go get one of the bullet lipsticks? But they look cute, right? And I see some nudes that could actually probably be nudes for uh, my skin tone. So, okay. Okay, Mel. Okay, let's see here. Huda's new Glow Wish Soft Radiance Bronzer Powder launching on their website and at their retailers on June 1st. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. I think I can talk about the next. Yeah, the next slide is the new, what is this? It's a skin tint that's also launching, but the, I'm gonna get both of them. Yes, I am. Most of Huda like never steers me wrong and it's skin tint, it's skin tint season, okay? And I see a bronzer that I could actually probably use. So am I gonna pick both of them up? Yes, I will. There will be a video coming up uh, in the future on those two products. Okay, listen, at least someone in this video is going to do something for us. But yes, there is a new bronzer coming. I think Huda's merged uh, like the Huda Beauty with Wishful Skin, which is also her company to give you, um, I just got an email, to give you, you know, kind of skin care-ish makeup, something like that, I don't know, child. Um, but the bronzer, $31. The bronzer is $31, features the smoothest and most creamy formula that effortless, effortlessly adds warmth and dimension, available in five shades for all skin tones. $31 is kind of steep. How much do bronzers cost? I'm trying to think of other bronzers that I, may, I mean, makeup has just gone up <laughs> in recent years, but I don't know, something about seeing that right there next to the, how much is the skin tint then? Um, I don't see the price for the skin tint. Am I still gonna get it? Yes, I am. <laughs> so I don't even know why I'm, I'm fronting like, that's gonna stop me. But next thing is from NARS. New NARS Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette. Is NARS gonna give us anything else? Like anything else, huh? We can't come up with anything. You know, ride out this orgasm wave, okay. All right, um, Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette features an array of sun-kissed coral and golden shades inspired by the iconic peachy pink shade, Orgasm. Um, so there's six bronze uh, blush shades in here. Would I buy this? No, I would not. I only see at best two that I would use, you know, on a regular basis and not enough for me to get like the whole thing that comes with all six and it's NARS, so it's probably not cheap. So no, I would not get this, but if you like it, you already know, I love it for you. But this I am going to buy. Available now, Pat McGrath's new The Divine Blush Collection is here. Um, so I think there's like an eyeshadow palette, lipstick, stuff like that. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the blushes that she just launched. Yeah, I'll be picking those up. I just watched Bemi like unbox quickly on her Instagram stories the other day, the blushes that she ordered. I see purples in there, some reds, brown. I, t I know that's right. And it's Pat McGrath. So <laughs> I will be making an order. I was waiting for it to come from Sephora, um, to Sephora, but I don't, maybe they're not gonna be available at Sephora. So let me just go ahead, get it on the website. Let me know if you want like a blush video, like dedicated type thing, or I can just incorporate it into a different video. But yes, I will be buying those blushes from Auntie Pat. What's next? Um, Artist Couture is launching their new Fresh Face Forward Collection. Prep, set, and hydrate with skin loving ingredients for glowing skin all day. There's a primer, a powder, a gloss. Would I buy this? No, no, I wouldn't. I don't know, maybe I'd have to see someone else, you know, oh, like really raving about it, but like looking at it, all that stuff, it's not giving anything that 
would make me say, yeah, you know, let me go ahead and add that to the cart. You know, I do like sleek packaging and stuff like that, but you gotta sell me on more than just the packaging sometimes. <laughs> Cause sometimes packaging really can just be the only thing that sells me, but this is not one of those times. So would I buy this? No, I would not. The gloss, actually the gloss is cute. I don't think I, mm, I was gonna say I don't think I have, but I know I have a pinky gloss that looks like that. I was trying to give myself a reason to add that. I might still add that to my cart, but that's the only thing here that has me somewhat interested is the gloss. So let me go ahead and slide by. Available now, Maybelline's new Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer is now online at Ulta. How many shades is that? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I think 14 shades, uh, at least pictured here. I think I could probably use somewhere between 360 and 375, one of those shades, maybe even 368 because that looks a little bit more neutral. So I think I see, you know, one or two shades I could test out here. It's Maybelline, so you know, it's gonna be a little bit more on the affordable side for foundation. We are getting into summer, so I I am more in that, you know, tinted moisturizer, light coverage, light beat, easy beat type thing. So yeah, it, it, it is a good time to test a tinted moisturizer, but I feel like if I do pick this up, it'll be more so Shanine the YouTuber picking it up than Shanine, the consumer, you know, like just as a makeup enthusiast that wants to check this out. Cause I want to check it out on camera. So I know what it's like and y'all know what it's like. But other than that, I'm like, oh, she's not, she's not that exciting for me. I do like the original, no, it's not the original. The Fit Me Matte, the original version? No, right? It's the Fit Me, they came out with that and then they came out with a matte version, which, whichever one. But I actually do like the Fit Me Matte Foundation. So if the formula is kind of like that, but just tinted moisturizer, this could actually be a pretty bomb product. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably do a video on this. See now, I told you, you're gonna have at least one ColourPop launch in these videos, if not two. This is also from ColourPop. It's their Malibu Barbie collection. Um, Again, this screams Barbie, right? And I actually like the colors in this palette. Now it is ColourPop's, I don't know if there's a little saturation added to this video. I don't think I've seen anyone like on my timeline or anything using this to see what the palette actually looks like. But if the colors look how they look in this picture in real life, the palette not only says Barbie, but it's one that could be practical to use, right? I am intrigued. The rest of the collection, no, I'm good. But this eyeshadow palette, and it's Barbie, so you know, like that's gonna be a seller for me a little bit. You know, it's cute. Um, would I buy this? It's probably sold out at this point. Um, maybe. It's not a no, I know that. I just don't know if it's a yes. It's a maybe. Maybe I would buy this palette. And the last thing I have today is from Jouer Ooh, Bars, okay? It's their new French Riviera collection launching on 518. Um, I see an eyeshadow palette, those look like the the duo lip, uh, not lip, cheek uh, stains, like blush. Um, I think that's a lip, yeah, that's a lip chapstick and a liner. Yes, it looks like a liner. Uh, no. Again, it looks pretty, but when you open up the actual palette, like what am I supposed to do with that? But uh, there is green in there, y'all know green is my favorite color, but honestly, like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with that? Um, so no, the cheek, duos those i see some blushes that could be nice blushes on me but i buy them to figure it out no and the the lip products and the no it's just a no for me dog on this one but you know you can check it out if you want and yeah y'all that was the last launch that i had to talk about this month and if my face is not telling y'all i'm gonna say it you know verbally i'm not impressed with a lot of the things i just talked about i think the huda the pat and I think Glow Recipe, that was that was pretty much it. That you'll probably see in future videos. Everything else is like, a, I'm not gonna rush to go get that. If I see it, I see it. If I buy it, I buy it type feeling, but nothing like that urgent other than the three that I just mentioned. Um, and then everything else is pretty much like, no, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't wanna buy that. Um, I feel like they just go through, you know, their, their moments where it's like, they can be real fire collections coming out and then just real, y'all just put it putting it out to put it out type moments that might be what uh we're going through right now but if you've seen anything else that's been announced that's coming out lately let us know in the comments down below let me know any videos you might want to see any reviews 
uh, impression, stuff like that. All of that down below. I hope seeing this helped. If any of you were just put onto a new launch that you wanna go check out, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.